The recently installed Ansari and Canaries constituency councils have been urged to leverage the resources of the constituency to generate economic benefits for residents. Lisa Joseph explains. Parliamentary representative for Ancillary Canaries, Honorable Wayne Gerard, is more than hopeful about the future of constituents as he charts a new path to improving lives and developing communities. Honorable Gerard is looking to the men and women of the Ancillary and Canaries constituency councils to assist in the rollout of the overall plan. During the installation ceremony, the parliamentary representative noted that a concerted effort was made to select individuals from the length and breadth of the constituency to ensure inclusivity. Honorable Gerard urged the councillors to lead by example with dignity, integrity and order. He told the councillors that as community leaders, they must begin to erode the stigma of poverty and other social ills associated with the constituency. We need to pay close attention to the things that matter but cannot be easily measured, like human dignity, freedom from embarrassment and humiliation. We need to harness the assets within the constituency for the benefit of the constituency. We need to deal with the issues related to garbage disposal and collection, access to public washroom facilities, because we want to reserve the beach for recreation and enjoyment and not for anything else. Access to transportation in and out and around the constituency is also very important. No young person needs to fear about the future. Your fired up mind is a powerful resource. So stay tuned for the announcements that will be rolled out over the next coming days. In closing, let us dream big, start small, but begin now. Minister with Responsibility for Housing and Local Government, Honorable Richard Frederick, called on the councillors to be mindful in the execution of duty and render assistance to those who are truly in need in order to be impactful. Honorable Frederick also encouraged the councils to adopt a business approach and be innovative in utilizing the natural resources of ancillary and canneries to the benefit of residents. I urge you in that regard to pursue ventures that are income generating. Use government facilities if you have to. They are yours. They are under your control. Not even the district rep can stop you. Use it. Use them to make money. Ancillary is world renowned with its fish friday. Capitalize on it. Canaries is renowned for its cassava and farine and all the tetchie. Capitalize on it. <laughs> Capitalize on it. Make something unique out of your constituency so you can use it as an income generating venture. Honorable Frederick informed that funding for critical intervention programs and projects is available from international donor agencies. There are hundreds of millions of dollars for climate change. Hundreds of millions of dollars for nature reserve. Hundreds of millions of dollars to build homes for battered women, for, for children who are homeless. It is a matter of putting a team together and finding the donor agencies and tapping into the consciences of those donor agencies. Once you conceptualize your projects, it can cost five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten million dollars. Do not limit it or link it to government's affordability. The money is out there. Go get it. It's there. You all are a local government. You all are an organization with authority. And so I urge you. Let not your developmental trend or intentions be hinged on government's ability to fund those intentions. Do what you have to do. And treat government money as la money, because the big money is not here, it's out there. The Ancillary Constituency Council is chaired by Mary Samuel with Charlotte Girard serving as Deputy Chairman. 
Lynn Shamala Antoine is the chairperson of the Canaris Constituency Council, with Digna Herman serving as deputy chairperson. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.